Hey, I'm Tim from PayM Data Recovery, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to restore your iPhone backup using a Mac computer. What we'll need today is a Mac computer, your phone, the hard drive we sent you, and some cables. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna connect in the drive that we sent into the computer. So we're just gonna connect it in just via the cable and wait for it to mount onto the desktop. As we can see here, it's mounted on the desktop and it is named the job number that we've given you. So what we wanna do first is we're just gonna check the size of the backup and to make sure our Mac has enough storage to be able to put it on. So we're gonna double click. Here we have our phone backup. This is what we need to transfer. So we're gonna double click and open this up. And this is the encrypted backup. If we open it up, we see it's just random folders and encryption. It needs to be loaded onto a phone to be able to see anything in this backup. So if we right click on it and we go get info, we can see that this backup is 1.49 gigabytes in size. So we just have to make sure our computer has enough space to store that. So the best thing to do is on an Apple, we can click on the Apple in the top corner and about this Mac storage, and it will show us our free space on our Mac hard drive. If we hover over, we get an idea that it's 224 gigs of free space. So that's plenty enough room for our backup to be stored. If you don't have enough room, if your free space is smaller than the size of the backup, we can hit manage and give it a minute and it will break up the entire hard drive of the Mac. And then if we have to make space, we get an idea of what um, is taking up our space and where we can make room. Uh, we will need to drag into the bin and empty the bin if we do need to make space. All right, so now what we're gonna do is, if we've got enough space, right now we're gonna transfer the backup onto the computer. So what we need to copy and paste is this file here, the one with the random numbers. We can leave this finder window open as it'll make it a bit easier when we need to just drag and drop or copy and paste. So what we need to do now is make sure it says finder up in the top left corner if it doesn't say Finder in the top left corner, click anywhere on the desktop or on the little Finder window and we'll get Finder. Now we want to click on the Go menu so we get a drop down and then we're going to hold and press the Option key on the keyboard and when we do that, we get Library, a hidden library of file appear and this is what we need to click. So we're going to click that. This now brings up a new Finder window with all the library files. This is a specific structure we need to go through. So uh, let me show you this. So we need to go into application support and then scroll down to mobile sync and then backup. Inside this folder is where we need to put the backup that we have made. So we can leave this file window open and do it a couple of ways. We can either just drag and drop or we can copy and paste. Either way, we just need to get that file from the hard drive onto the computer. So as we can see, it's transferring now. You'll know it's working because you'll get a little window up here that'll show you the speed and the transfer rate. So what we need to do is can't unplug anything, don't do anything, we just need to let this go and let this complete. If you do have a larger backup, it may take some time. This is only a small backup, so it's only a small amount of time. So we'll just wait for this to finish. There we go. So now we can see that the backup is now on the computer. So now we don't necessarily need this hard drive anymore. So if we want, we can close that window down. We don't have to eject it, we can leave it on the desktop. The main thing we need to do now is connect our phone. So using a normal lightning cable, we just need to connect our phone into the computer. I need an adapter because I'm using a C to A, so I'm gonna eject this and then plug my phone in. When you plug your phone in, you are gonna to need to trust your phone. So either using your touch ID, your face ID, 
or your PIN code just to unlock the screen. And then it will appear in the Finder window. It'll appear down on the left side here. As I can see, that's my phone here. When I click on this, I get all the options for backing up and syncing and restoring backups for my phone. What I'll be doing is doing now is I'll be restoring a backup onto this phone. So what I need to do is just hit the restore backup button. Right here, it'll give a drop down. If there's any other backups on this phone, there'll be a list of all the backups that the computer has stored. Uh, so pick the one that's the one that you want to transfer. We only have one, so I just can pick this one. So what I'm then gonna do is hit the restore button. Now remember, this is going to erase the phone. So if it's a new phone, it's okay. It'll just erase the phone and then restore your backup. If this is a phone that already has data on it, if there's anything precious on there, make sure you get it off first, either transferring or airdropping or emailing to yourself because it will erase the phone before restoring your backup. So just make sure you get anything off it first. So then what we wanna do is hit the erase and restore. Oh, I have to turn off my phone, my iPhone. So we can do that in the phone. So you just come into settings, click on your name, click on find my, and you'll need to turn that off. Okay, so once you've got that turned off, we can hit okay. Now the phone will erase itself and start to restore the backup. It may take a couple of minutes to start, but we will see the phone screen change. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect the phone in. We will have to unlock the screen. And then we're gonna to come to the finder and we can see the iPhone here. It's appearing. When you have a hello screen, it means the phone is back to factory settings. It's just gonna activate first. Here we go. So here, if we have a new phone, we will get a splash screen in our finder window asking us to set up our new phone. Right here, we can either set up the devices new without a backup, or we wanna restore the backup that we have created. So this is what we wanna do. We get a drop down menu here that'll show all the backups currently on this Macintosh, but we only have one here today, so we're just gonna use that one. So we're gonna hit continue. And as we can see on the screen, on the iPhone screen will change and we will see a restore in progress. This sometimes can take a little while, so it means you're working. This is all going good at the moment. It's right now, it's just calculating the size of the backup to the size of the phone, just to make sure everything will transfer correctly. Once it starts transferring, we will get a progress bar on the phone and then that will fill up. Okay. So we see the app will appear after the restore screen has turned off and we will get the progress bar showing the backup being restored onto the phone. As we can see now, the restore has completed. So what we need to do now is hit continue. So all the backup now is on the phone. Now we just need to just continue the setup process of an iPhone, so where we just create our passwords. So what we're gonna do now is just select our Wi-Fi network. So this is just the setup menu still. So my phone has a touch ID, so I can set up a touch ID. More modern phones will have face ID. I'll just be doing a basic setup right now. Here's where you can select your passcode. You do have an option to do a four, a six, or a word, or you not use one at all. We won't use, I'll do a four digit right now. I'll just do one, two, three, four. This is where you'll put your Apple ID in. I'll just be doing a basic one right now, so I'm just gonna skip. You will need to put this in to get any of your iCloud data back. Location services. Now, as we can see, my backup has restored itself. What it's doing now is just updating the apps that I previously had in my backup. So it's just making sure it's got a latest version of those apps. But what you will see is the same app layout, the same wallpaper. If you wanna open up photos, Usually a good indication to see if your backup is restored. As I can see, my backup has restored completely. I have my photos. 
I also have my contacts and my messages. They're the main things I was after. You will have all other things like notes as well. So that was the process in how to get your iPhone backup restored onto your iPhone using a Mac computer. Hopefully uh, we explained it well and it's easy steps for you to do. If you do have any issues, you're more than welcome to give us a contact and we will be able to help out. But it's usually a pretty easy process, so hopefully that helped. Thank you.